Good morning, everyone. I'm back. I just spent the last four days driving 1,400 miles to buy cars with a total of over 1,600 horsepower. So let me go ahead and give you the quick rundown. Uh, don't worry, in the next few days, I will give you a more detail on each one of these cars. But right now, I'm just going to show you the highlights. Um, I need to get these all stashed behind the fence before my neighbors see them and have a fit. Uh, to them, they're just junk cars. They don't realize that these are way more than that. Anyway, so what happened was about four days ago, I found this uh, fixed roof coupe, 1999 fixed roof coupe uh, for sale on Facebook Motors. Um, it's not <laughs> a cream puff by any stretch, but it's what I need for my project since I'm going to replace the body anyway. Uh, the shape of the body isn't that big of a deal. I don't think I have the keys to these cars. Again, I just wanted to come out and well, show you what's here. Anyway, um, this is it. It runs, it drives. The interior is pretty much shot. Um, so, but uh, the C5 interiors are lackluster to say the least. So it's always been my intention to upgrade the interior, which means as long as the you know seat frames and all of that stuff are intact and good enough, uh, that it's a good starting point. What I'm going to do, I haven't decided I have a lot of options. I have uh, C1 bodies being made for C5s. I do still have the um, C2 body that I could, that I'm putting on the C8 that I could modify to put on this, but that would not be a trivial project. It would be nowhere near as big as the one of putting that body on the C8, but uh, it wouldn't be as easy as putting that same body on a uh, C6. Anyway, I bought this car. Drove to Houston, it's 200 miles there, 200 miles back. And as soon as I got back, I jumped in a car and went to uh, North Witchland Hills, which is near Fort Worth in the DFW, uh, Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas area. And I bought this 427 Corvette convertible. It has been uh, modified uh, heavily um <laughs> it actually is to the point that it idles really rough and doesn't like to idle sometimes when you come up to light you wonder if it's going to keep running it is uh in phenomenal shape both inside and out um, has some minor issues here and there but nothing that can't be overcome and my goal with this one is to take that kit that i have that is made to fit on a c6 and put it straight on this car. So the end result will be a, let's say 67 uh, Corvette, 427 clone with a 427 uh, LS motor in it. Uh, this does have the LS7, the high performance motor in it, and it has a six speed manual transmission. Car runs, rides, drives, everything absolutely phenomenally. While I was looking at the c5 frc the same seller has this or had now i have it this uh zl1 uh camaro zl1 has the lsa motor in it which is the uh supercharged motor uh, it puts out 550 horsepower from the factory uh, this one's been modified to run on e85 and it puts out over 700 horsepower. He did have the dyno sheet with it to verify what it does. Um, it is also in really, really good shape. Not as nice as the 427, uh, but it is in very nice shape. It's kind of funny driving these cars. Um, you know, I've got the C8, I've got several C5s. I've got the C6 427 I just bought. I've got the C8s. I have not driven a C7 or owned one, but um, I was really surprised, pleasantly surprised how well this car rode and drove. 
one of the big differences is that all of my or most of my other cars are convertibles but this one when you put the windows up and everything it is really a nice car to drive around um, again i will give more details uh, i don't know if i locked this one. Oh, it is unlocked you have to excuse the mess i literally got in at 2 30 this morning and did nothing but <laughs> get out of the car and go to bed i was exhausted after uh, four days of driving around but you can see that the interior is in really nice shape oh and i did buy some uh et streets and a set of wheels so that i can take this to the drag strip any of you that have i'm a drag racer so anybody that's raced knows that uh on anything like street tires there's no point in taking a high horsepower car uh, it'll just spin the tires they're 60 foot will be horrible which of course your 60 foot equates directly to um your et but you can see that everything i mean i couldn't find anything major wrong with this car that's why i bought it i'm trying to think if there's anything else to cover i can't think of anything at the moment so anyway like i said i need to move my truck Get all these cars behind the fence um that silver one i bought i guess two weeks ago i'm losing track of time uh here locally uh a seller had it and i bought it it's uh, in pretty good shape it needs some little stuff here and there um it has <laughs> all of the c5 seem to have the same silly issues and this one has those same silly issues as the rest and again, I haven't decided which one, which body to put on this. Uh, the other thing is I do have uh, a couple of the Delahaye cars that are being built. The body in, the body is done on one and it's the Bugatti uh, 1939 type 57. Uh, and it's going to be a roller for the street ride nationals, but at some point I'm going to need a drivetrain for it. So one of these cars, possibly this convertible or one of the others will be the donor drivetrain for that. And then I'll probably sell the body parts. Uh, there won't be much left after I steal, you know, I'm gonna steal the suspension, the engine, the transmission, brakes, all of that stuff. So there really won't be a whole lot left. Um, the, Thing I'm trying to do is find reasonable mileage cars uh, that are at a reasonable price so that my end result when I put it in the Delahaye or the Zephyr or whatever uh, it will be ready to go uh, that is the other car that's being built right now is a Zephyr and again it will need a drivetrain as well so all of these are just basically building blocks for uh, future projects so I haven't decided what everything is going to be and of course if you like subscribe and hit that alert you will know as soon as I do what in the heck I'm doing with all of these cars I'm buying all right I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time bye